and you think, no, I wouldn't do that. It's like, that's not what the evidence suggests. Uh, this is Jordan Peterson on how ordinary, decent Germans became genocidal Nazis. Many, 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 many of the people, not all, many of the people who were involved in the Nazi atrocities were perfectly ordinary people. They were just like you. And you think, no, I wouldn't do that. It's like, that's not what the evidence suggests. The evidence suggests that the vast majority of people in Nazi Germany went along with it. Now, not all of them were dragged into the abyss itself, but plenty were. And if you think you wouldn't have been one of them, that just means it's highly likely that you would have, because you have no idea what you're capable of. There's a great book about that. It's a terrifying book called Ordinary Men, and it's about the initiation of a police battalion from Germany who went to Poland after the Germans marched into Poland. Now, these were ordinary men. They were policemen, middle-aged, who had grown up before the Nazi propaganda mill got going. Okay, so they weren't indoctrinated Nazis from like the time they were four. They're just ordinary middle-class guys. Plus, their commander told them in Poland when they were starting to do military work, even though they were civilian policemen, that they could go home, that they didn't have to do this job, and that there would be no repercussions. And in fact, out of the battalion, a number of men right at the beginning said, I'm not doing this, and they went home. Mo the vast majority went along. Now, the guys that left thought, I don't care, I'm not doing this, but most people didn't. And part of the reason they didn't do it is because they were loyal to their, to their peers. By the end of this, which took months, these guys were taking na naked pregnant women out into the middle of fields and shooting them in the back of the head. You get the point? I think you get the point, right? If all of the people who right now are trying to stand up for their nations, let the Netherlands be for the Dutch. Let Ireland be for the Irish. Let America be for Americans. And by the way, that's a little more complex because we are a melting pot. But we do have a culture worth defending and we have laws worth defending and a founding worth defending and all of those things. If we will not allow those things to happen, what will come on the other side are much worse people who will do unspeakable things. And then good people that we all know will also do unspeakable things for the very reasons that Jordan just laid out, right? I've mentioned it a couple of times over the years that when Jordan and I used to tour, he would ask often, we did, you know, a hundred some odd shows, and I'd say he did it probably 30, 40 times. How many of you here in front of five, 6,000 people, how many of you here would have been a Nazi? And of course, nobody applauds, nobody raises their hand. And as he just laid out in that clip, that means you probably would have been. Because these people were not all in completely indoctrinated four-year-olds. So, you know, that, that grew up with all the wrong ideas and then said, okay, let's kill all these people, right? But then one day they're shooting pregnant women out in the field. It's because over time, if you are pushed far enough and then the wrong ideas come in and then society starts turning and no one else is good around and then you don't want to be on the wrong side of being shot too, humans can do horrible things to each other. So I think the West has, has a kind of interesting moment right now. We can choose which way we want to go. I think you know which way I want to go. Which way do you want to go?